Peace, everybody. Peace, 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 man. Shalom alaikum. Peace be upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the most high Elohim Yahuwah through his son Yahushua. It's your brother, Uncle K. You already know what time it is and you already know how we coming. Everybody, when you get into the video, y'all already know what to do, man. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. If you're not a supporter, become a supporter as well, too. But I advise you to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Now let's get into the video. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. Everything counts. Everything counts. Everything that you do counts. Everything that you do counts. When you go to a business and you're paying with bills and they give you back your change, if you put those quarters, those dimes, those nickels, those pennies in a gallon water jug, in an empty gallon water jug, and you do that for a year, guaranteed, you're going to come out with a couple hundred dollars. You're going to come out with a couple hundreds because you made sure that whatever you, whatever you pay for, you put it away for a better day and you kept doing that. You kept doing that and putting that increase. So the thought process behind it was the more I do this, the more I'm going to get back. Right? The more I put in, the more I'm going to get back. So every time you roll out of bed, you got to have that flow state energy. You got to get creative. Every time you put that pen to the paper, each sentence count. Every time you put in that energy to create a video, it's going to build up. It's going to count. Every time you go and do a workout, you build up. It's going to count later down the line. You're just being consistent. Consistency is going to pay off. And that's why you got to use your talents for good things. That's why the Most High gave you talents. The Most High didn't give you talents so you could just think about riches and think about possessions. He gave you talents so you could use for the greater good. And every time you put out creativity in this world, you're only going to be flowing and feeling much better within yourself. And I'm telling y'all straight facts. Every time you get out there and you create something, that the energy just flows through you. It's like the Most High sees you and he rewards you because the Most High is the creator of all things. That's why you being a creation yourself, the Most High created you by you using the same talents that he gave you to create things as well too. He's only going to bless you more. He's only going to increase you more. That's why you cannot, you cannot keep those talents to yourself because he's going to remove those talents from you. And when you're using those talents for the wrong things, you're not going to reap the benefits of it. You know, a lot of times, man, we got talents and we always try to think of ways on how to get rich. Sometimes we don't even use our talents to to try to get riches. The thing is, we just solely focus on, on how to how to get money, how to be rich, how to have enough. But even if you don't have enough, still create something. Get a get a blank piece of paper. Get some coloring pencils. Get some crayons. Start drawing. Start making some illustrations. Get a notebook. Start start act like. Create like a small book for yourself. Create like a 30 page novel that you can sit back and you can read and be like, I made this. You don't sit down, write, write, um, listen to a beat and every day write some lyrics to a song until you, you're in that situation where you're able to record it and lay down that audio. Every day you got to do something creative. Every day. That's going to keep you in a flow state. That's going to have you flowing. That's going to increase your vibration. I'm telling y'all. Y'all got to get out and create. And it's a fact. Because when you sit stagnant, you're watching other people create. And you're not creating. But you know you want to create. It's only going to keep you lacking. You're only going to be lacking in, in that department. And I'm telling you. This goes beyond the threshold. This, this goes beyond of holding on for their life. Because when you're holding on for their life you ultimately holding on to a creative energy. So by you holding on to a creative energy, you can't just solely focus on one thing. You gotta be a jack of all trades. You just gotta create. 
everything. You just got to create. Like when we was back in elementary school, middle school, high school, sometimes we used to get bored. Bored because the teacher ain't really teaching us anything. They teaching us something straight from a book. They not putting their own flavor, their own spices on it. So what we used to do, we used to take that five star notebook. We used to flip all the way to the back of the book and start drawing, start doodling, start drawing stuff, right? Drawing ideas. We still had that childlike mindset. Always want to create something, always want to achieve something new. And we got to continue to thrive for that. Hold on to that creative energy and create. You got to create, create, create. And I'm telling you, you're going to feel better. You're going to start flowing. The more you create, the more you're going to flow. You can't let that creative energy just sit inside of you and just sit there, you know, dormant, not doing nothing. Because when you put that pen to the paper, it's always going to make sense. When you put those crayons to that to that drawing pad, it's gonna make sense. You know, when you when you when you're trying to, you know, build anything, you're trying to build anything, you're trying to do some construction, you're trying to build like a birdhouse, you're just trying to build anything from 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 scratch. You're trying to build anything. You know, you go get a um, you go get a basic sneaker, right? You go to the store, you buy an all white. A all white pair of shoes, like some uh, some Converse's or something, right? Some all white Vans or something like that. And you go out and you go buy some some stencils, and you just start drawing on the shoes. You know, start drawing on the shoes. You know, get some get some uh, denim or something, some all white denim or something. And you just drawing on your pants. You just drawing like. How you feel, you just writing quotes down, like how you feel on your pants, and you just walking with that energy. You writing nothing but positivity down on them jeans, and you walking around with that positive energy because you you creating with that. You know what I'm saying? You, yo, we live in a time right now where you create creative, being creative will make you more abundance, with more abundance. This video was just to help y'all tap into your creative ability because I want all y'all to just tap into your inner power, that inner ability to just create. That's what we're here for. We're here to be fruitful and multiply and create and bless the most high and his set apart name, which is Yahuwah, through his son Yahushua, man. I hope y'all stay blessed, man. If y'all feeling stressed, just create something, write something down, get in that flow state. Even if it's one sentence, it's going to make sense at the end of the day, man. Shalom Elohim. Peace be upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High Elohim Yehovah through His Son Yahushua, man. It's your brother Uncle K. You already know what time it is and you already know how we coming. When y'all in this video, y'all ending the video, y'all already know what to do, man. I don't even got to say nothing, man. Hope y'all have a wonderful day on that other note. Peace, man.